Hey everyone, Steve from GSM Tennis, and today I want to talk to you about a mental toughness technique uh, that Djokovic is using that he wrote in his book, Serve to Win, and it's called Mindfulness. And up here I have Djokovic's results, and I want to talk about this because one of the biggest things he's doing is practicing mindfulness. And so if we look up here, Grand Slam ATP 1000 results. 2008 to 2010, Djokovic had a 79% winning streak. Pretty high, pretty good, I take that. From 2011 to present, 90%. Obviously you can do the math, that is an increase of 11%. I mean that's huge on the ATP Tour, to have an increase of 11%. But here's something more important. Let's look at Djokovic when he's playing the other greats. Murray, Nadal, and Federer. From 2008 to 2010 against Murray, Djokovic went 1 and 3, against Nadal 5 and 10, and against Federer 5 and 8. Obviously you can tell he lost most of the time. This is a winning percentage of, if we combine all of those, 34%. Not where he wants to be. But we see a shift. From 2011 to present, Djokovic has gone against Murray 8 and 5, against Nadal 12 and 7, and against Federer 12 and 5. This is a winning percentage of 65%, giving us a difference, an increase of 31%. That is staggering. That is unbelievable. Against the other best players, he went up 31%. Imagine playing on your club team, on the club ladder, and beating all the other top guys on the ladder by this amount. Maybe one year you, have, you, you lose all the time, kind of like Djokovic, and then you start practicing mindfulness, and you get a result like this. Unbelievable. So, what, why this difference? What's going on? Well, a couple things. One, the doll, or not the doll. Djokovic did say he changed his diet, which can be a confidence thing. He's, he has improved his serve, but what he talks about all the time is mindfulness. And I shouldn't say all the time. He's, ta he's, just, he's talked about it a little bit, but people aren't giving it the attention that I think it deserves when it comes to mental tennis, and mental tennis is so important. What is mindfulness? Well, let me, let me use Djokovic's words put it in perspective. So in his book, here's what Djokovic says. I do it every day for about 15 minutes and it is as important to me as my physical training. Instead of trying to silence your mind or find inner peace, you allow and accept your thoughts as they come. They do bounce around like crazy, but they are supposed to. Your job is to let them come and go. I've done so much mindfulness that my brain functions better now automatically. I used to freeze up whenever I made a mistake. Now when I blow a serve or shank a backhand, I still get those flashes of self-doubt, but I know how to handle them. The last part here talks about when Federer and Djokovic were just playing for the Wimbledon Championship. I could have easily lost my concentration in the fifth set and just handed him the win, but I didn't. And that's why this win has a special importance to me mentally, because I managed to not just win against my opponent, but win against myself as well and find that inner strength that got me the trophy today. That's the importance of mindfulness, and you need to practice it. You need to practice letting those thoughts come and learning how to cope with them. And if you just let them come and go, that'll allow you to focus and have the appropriate strategy in that next point you're about to play. So a couple ways I'd like you to practice this. Go out on the court and literally just do drills and focus on being mindful. Letting those thoughts come, letting them go, and, and learning how to refocus on that point. Just practicing that. And it'll take time. And when you get better, what I'd like you to do is start practicing difficult situations. So for instance, you could play a set or two 
or every time you're serving and you start at 30, 40, so you're down, you have to deal with that pressure. Or you can play a game where uh, it is, you're down four, five in the set and you start playing at that point. Deal with those pressure, pressure situations and practice mindfulness. So I hope you like this video. I know I, I practice this all the time. Uh, I'm gonna take this to the court with my players. And if you like this, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and if you're not over at gsmtennis.com, get over there, uh, subscribe. That's where all the action is, where our community is, and uh, just, just a bunch of fun stuff. So get over there, uh, and until next time, have fun, play some tennis, and make it a great day. Bye.